Yeah, Elias, it's great to be back here. We had a little rain over the weekend, settled the dust. People are in a great, upbeat mood here. Now, this, this show brings out some 600 exhibitors from all over to catch up on the latest in farm technology. And one thing they won't get to see, though, is the demo harvesting and uh, tilling. It's not due to wet conditions, but rather the wet spring led to late planting. The corn is not yet mature. but. What is ready to go, and the coolest thing I've seen here is the Farm Progress Show, is the Rise Aerotech. This is a drone that you can actually ride in, fly on. Actually an ultralight aircraft. You don't need a license to fly it, and it can go 63 miles an hour. It flies on six independent rotors, each with its own battery. It's very simple to learn to fly. It can go 25 minutes on a full charge. and. They can use it to give farmers a real close-up look at their crops, but it may have some other applications. Yeah, I mean, ranching, vineyard operators can be used in park services, local and, and state municipal government uh, for, and it, because it lands on water as much as land. So you can use it on lakes or ponds as well. Uh, you may want to get one of these. It won't be on the market until 2025. The cost $150,000 and they tell me tomorrow they plan to put this drone up in the air at 2 o'clock and there's a drone kind of demonstration area over on the east side of the Farm Progress grounds. So, you know, if you're looking for one of these, Elias, you know, you might want to get one. Yeah, I can tell you right now the <laughs> short answer for my wife is no, <laughs> absolutely not. I annoy her with my little toy one at home. So uh, thank you, though, Roger. I, I hope you get yeah, a chance to maybe go up in one of those yeah. things one of these days. Very cool. <laughs>